Look who we got today. We got my Toby Wan Kenobi. If you are new to my channel, this is the resident mascot. He is a Jack Russell terror. Emphasis on the terror, but we love him. He's generally my gaming buddy until I start getting frustrated, and he can tell because he will immediately get up and leave the room like, mm-mm, I ain't dealing with you right now. And uh, occasionally, like right now, his um, breath smells like poop. Uh, what? Why? I have so many questions. And by poo, I mean dog food. I mean, but what is really the difference? Anyway, welcome back for good vibes and more Arkham Origins. So far, I am absolutely in love with the story. I love how cozy and like Christmassy this game feels. I've been hearing from a lot of people on Twitter saying that this game has some of the best boss fights. And so far, I have fought... Okay, it's not... Deadshot. I know who Deadshot is. I'm familiar with that character. Deathstroke. They're they're very similar in name, so I had to like differentiate the two. Also a fun fact, a couple nights ago I had this really weird inspiration to start re-watching one of my favorite childhood shows, Teen Titans. I'm gonna be honest with you guys though, this might seem weird, but to me it's not. When I was watching that as a kid, right, I was never really into the DC universe. I just loved the show. I, I loved all the colors. I was I was in love with Starfire. Like I, I literally wanted to be her. Anyway, I loved the show, but I didn't at that time in my life kind of put the two and two together that, you know, Robin, DC Universe, but ever since rewatching it the other night, you know, there's a lot of references to the DC Universe with Gotham City and again, Robin as a character. I, I don't know how I didn't see it. Anyway, I was watching that and literally the villain that gets introduced at the beginning, his name is Slade. And when I heard his name, I was like, I know that name. I know that name. How do I know this name? So I looked it up and hello, Deathstroke. So I was like, oh my God, the timing, the universe, it, it works in very, very mysterious ways. So we got the familiarity and the comfort from this game. And then I have the nostalgia from my childhood with watching Teen Titans right now. So it's a really good time for me. Life is good, what can I say? And trust me, after the past two months that I've been having, I really need this right now. Speaking of past two months and life being crazy and stuff, I hope life is good for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you take some time out of today or tomorrow or this weekend and you do something fun for yourself, whether it's playing a video game like this one. Maybe you're playing the Batman games alongside me right now. Maybe you go outside, touch grass. I kind of wish I could right now, but the weather is crap. Maybe you read one of your favorite books. Maybe you boot up one of your favorite childhood shows and you snuggle up under a blanket and get a hot drink. Whatever you decide to do, I, I hope you're having a good one. I hope life is good for you and, you know, the internet can be crazy sometimes and right now it feels like one of those times. Also, how could you resist this face? I know I can't. All right, guys, I'm ready to jump in, so let's get into it. So we just beat up Deathstroke once again. Amazing boss fight, had a ton of fun with it. And we just got I can the... Use the new tool I took from Deathstroke to grapple out of here. Thank you so much, Batman. I was just about to say that. So well, we got to equip it. Um, I think that means we can go up there. Yes. Right, fire. Oh, up there. <laughs> I should use the device I took from Deathstroke to grapple out of here. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, oh, that's fun. Um, hold on, we didn't have this for- well, we kind of had a tightrope thing for a city, but I didn't use it too much. <laughs> there were a lot of gadgets that, like, looking back, I'm like, I didn't really use that too much. Some of the stuff I got way too late in the game, so I was like, by that time, you know, habits were already made, habits were already formed. Can I go- I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. I need this! Do I not know? I need it! How do we get there? How do I- Ah! Maybe I can use this? Yes? Yes! Okay, not quite. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how to use this quite yet. But I really... Um... Wait a second. I think I'm overthinking it. Boom. I'm a genius! Got it. 
sweet. Three out of 10 found. Seems like there's significantly less of these in this game. Kind of makes my brain happy. I think we want to go, ooh, this way. Yes. I don't see anything else here of interest. Nice move, Batman. <gasps> You'll have more luck getting into a nun's skivvies than getting into this room. Go on, then. Beat it a bit harder. Really make me feel it. Well, as you can see, I got the answer. Have a Merry Christmas and piss off. <laughs> Alfred, see if you can find any information on a murder at Lacey Towers. Hmm, looks like the police are on the scene now, sir. Oh, and this is interesting. They're saying Black Mask is the victim. Black Mask dead. I'm on my way there now. What? Oh my god, this game has some of the best lines so far, though. You'd have better luck getting into a nun's skivvies, and then there's there's uh, the innuendos and some of the uh, double entendres that we just we just got... Right there, that was fantastic. Oh, so we can see where he's been. He's been sitting, yup, sitting pretty up here. Okay, so we still can't go through that door, got it. Do we just have to straight up leave the building? I should use the device I took from Deathstroke. Okay, thank you for that wonderful hint, Batman. Okay, so I am going in the right direction. Very. N oh yes. Wait. I st I don't think I can get this. Alfred, but get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them, along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous pip. Will do, sir. <laughs> Deathstroke. Let's read it. Or have I already read this? Wilson was an accomplished member of the Special Forces. This distinction earned him admittance into a covert program where he was subjected to s extensive mental and physical augmentation. I do remember reading this, I think, when we got introduced to all of the assassins at the very beginning. Oh, we got a profile on Candy. Real name, though. Unknown. So she's just Candy to us. <laughs> she's sweet, but probably psycho. Kind of like that song. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. Using Penguin for income. Yep, could have told you that one. Criminal record exists only in association with the Penguin, potentially, or po potential for rehabilitation. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Does that mean we can potentially turn her to our side, like make her a good guy? Okay. Candy was raised on the streets, but managed to pull herself up and earn a business degree. Unfortunately, lean times and contracting and the contracting job market caused her to fall in with the Penguins crowd. The recession has driven many well-educated people to take desperate action to support themselves, but that's no excuse for criminal behavior. Her crimes are minor, however, making her an excellent candidate for rehabilitation. Okay, so we're gonna try to turn her to our side. And then there's this Tracy person, um, Tracy Buxton. Okay, streetwise and tough, mid-level leadership position. Tracy's earned her status in Penguin's operation owing to a tough as nails, no nonsense attitude. Penguin uses her to keep his crew in line when he's not around. It's not clear why she would have fallen in with the, with Cobblepot. It's likely that the two met while he was living abroad. Perhaps he's grooming her to take over his operation one day. While she represents only a minimal th physical threat, she is a dan she is dangerous, is as dangerous as anyone else who picks up a gun and is willing to use it. Okay. This, wait, 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 there's another one up here. Oh, yes, Alberto Falcone. Yes, yes, yes. Alberto Falcone, son of mob boss Carmine Falcone, or the Roman, I think, is also like his um, like villain name, kind of. Medical records indicate history of mental illness. The, Fal the Falcones are one of Gotham's most powerful crime families. Carmen Falcone has ruled his part of the city for years, but has started losing ground to newcomers. Black Mask, and Cobblepot. Still, the Falcone family remains active throughout Gotham, posing a threat to the safety and security of its citizens. I was reading, actually, a little bit more of The Dark Victory last night. Again, still some of my favorite comics that I've read so far, but 
I think they're great as like a duo. Like you have to enjoy the first one to really enjoy the second. I think you can read both separately and be fine, but I love the second one so much and you get to see a lot more of Alberto in that one too. But I think I just... The story for that one is so compelling and so gripping. Both were good, but there's something about the second one. Maybe it's because of all the knowledge from the first comic book that I read, but oh my gosh, the second one is so enjoyable. I want to like gush about it right now, but I'm scared because if you haven't read it, I really think you should read it and I really want to talk about it. So you should go read it so that I don't have to worry about spoilers for you. Okay, thank you. All right, let's keep going. I don't think we have to go that way. I think we gotta go this way. I could just check the map, but I'm too lazy right now. <gasps> oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, that napkin just flew out of nowhere and scared the bejesus out of me. Jump scare number one. <laughs> hmm. All I gotta say is there better be no sharks. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't <laughs> on tonight. I love that. And the consumerist garbage. Okay. That's so interesting because I've been coming across those signs that you have to scan across Gotham. So clearly, that's who is behind it. I'm excited to learn more about that character. Never heard of them before. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. Oh. I was hoping you get a minute of your time. Hi? I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance, but it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. <gasps> I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest, but unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So I offer you one. Let them detonate or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, miss. Oh my, is that anarchy right there? Or what? Who? Three bombs where Gotham's corruption okay, so obviously we have to go find to the bombs. So Who the heck are you? you? Talk to an, the anarchist. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Okay. Oh! Okay, we're timed. Okay, no, no tea right now. No tea. Let's go. Any available homicide units, please respond to 187 in the Bowery. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. Oh my goodness. What? There is so much going on right now. I'm currently trying to defuse a bomb and I think it's in here. And then something else just happened. We gotta be getting close. I don't have the time, guys. I don't have the time. Oh. Get out of here. It is the bad. Get down. Get down. Say money makes the world go round. But it also makes for ha, 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 ha. Stay down. Your job, your mortgage, you need to buy the next shiny oh, no. thing your overpriced yeah. television seduces you with. Imagine if we could have come. <laughs> if only someone would set us free. Boom, flawless. <laughs> I love that they I forgot that they go flying. Oh my god. Seeing that again is gonna be hilarious. Alfred, we've got a problem. So I saw. This anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. Oh yes, we will. But there's a crime scene right here. Jezebel Plaza Fall. I got the um, radio thing for it, so maybe we should go check it out and take care of it. Okay, I think the Jezebel Plaza is down here. So what are we looking for? The police know the victim fell from a nearby building. There's not much else in the file. Oh, His identity yeah. might shed some light on things. 
There he is! Okay. This looks like we might need to scan this. Or just tap it. Wonder who it is? Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. Batman's on the case. <gasps> okay, that is just so cool. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. Right, okay. Oh, not quite. Close, close, Batman. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Oh, you'd need a lot of force to break a railing like that. Okay. He was pushed, blown up, slammed. Huh. Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. Mm -hmm. the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Okay. Is it going to be... It's not going to be far away, right? Oh, right. We have to do the rewind or the advance. Okay. And I think that... Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so there's the briefcase. And then we can follow that. The red line down, I believe. Okay. Oh my god, that is just so cool. Mm, do I need to, like, now go down there? Because it, now it's too far below us. Okay, well, that's done. Now it's not happy with me. Uh, or maybe we can do it from down here. I bet the briefcase landed on the glass, on the glass roof. That's, that's where my guess is going to be. Or maybe not. Uh, or we can rewind it from here. No, no I need to be on... Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I can still kind of see the red line from up there. Okay. Um... It doesn't... Does it seem to have fallen down here? Where is the darn briefcase? Oh! It's right here, I think. <laughs> it was kind of close. It was up there with me the whole time. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, uh... I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. We love Alfred. He is, he is everything that we need in our life. Alfred said there was already a search area, but I can't seem to find it on the map yet. Ooh, never mind. I know where the second location is now, and actually there's another anarchy bomb along the way, so I'm gonna do both. Ooh, there's another anarchy sign. And it is a ton of fun to just glide around the city with detective mode on so you can see everything and go look for points of interest and stuff like this. So, oh, um, we have to have that up. And then we can scan it. Got it. Okay. What does this thing do here? It glows, but it doesn't tell me what it does. But it's connected to this thing over here. And as we know, these are those blackmail data boxes. And yeah, we have to do something with that generator over there in order to even unlock this in the first place. I don't think we have anything for this puzzle yet. Ooh, what's this? Plaque commemorating what? Wait, wait, I didn't get time to read that, no. Okay, plaque commemorating Cyrus Pink Pinkney, regarded as the architect of modern Gotham City. Okay. Do I scan it? No subject detected. There's something hidden Ooh. here. Ooh. It's like a page from a journal. What? Cyrus Pinkney, architect, 
cool. Okay. Visionary architect from Gotham's early industrial age worked with Solomon Wayne to help build Gotham's biggest landmarks. Cyrus Pinckney is an architect who lived during the mid 1800s and died on the eve of his 40th birthday. He is responsible for designing many iconic Gotham buildings and saw them constructed with the financial backing of Judge Solomon Wayne, who was inspired when he saw Pinckney's plans for the city. Both men believed in the power of these designs to drive out malevolence, but many consider Pinckney's style to be dark, dreary, and grotesque. Um, yeah, dark and dreary definitely it, it describes Gotham pretty darn well, but the irony of trying to keep out malevolence and look at Gotham City right now, but... You know, there is a lot of, you know, why is there so much? Well, I guess there's a lot of corruption just in general. But then, you know, there's the idea of like, is the Batman here because there's a lot of malevolence and violence and, you know, criminals? Or are the criminals now showing up because the Batman's here? Who knows? January the 11th, 1855. I've accepted the invitation, knowing it means my death. Henry Cobblepot claims it's merely a party to celebrate my 40th birthday. He insists that he's forgiven my past transgressions, turned over a new leaf, as it were. But I know better. With me gone, he will use his wily charms to see the law changed and his factory built. Already there are rumors that his son, Theodore, intends to run for mayor. Victory is all but assured. Oh. I will hide this journal of mine in the hopes that someday it might be found. To go public now, before my work is done, would put it all at risk. It must wait. But I hope in time, my words are brought to light. Wow, what's so interesting is how ancient a lot of these families in Gotham are. Like, the malevolent and the benevolent ones, you know, the crime boss families and the the good families like like the Waynes. Um, they, it just seems like there's so much history in these families, and I find the history of the families alone like just very, very, very fascinating. So it's almost like these feuds go back generations. Oh, we got a file about anarchy themselves. Okay, so we don't know the real name, political activist. Self-titled voice of the people, extremist who will do anything to achieve his goals, sees corporations and government as enemies that must be destroyed, <laughs> growing a following among youth and the disillusioned. <laughs> okay. Anarchy wants to purge Gotham of corruption, but his methods involve want wanton destruction. His idealism is matched with a self-importance that makes reasoning with him nearly impossible. He needs to be dealt with physically and imprisoned to keep the city safe. Should be approached with caution. Well, so much for caution. We're about to run right into his bombs. Sir, it appears you've stumbled onto a lead in Gotham's longest-running cold case. Cyrus Pinckney. Indeed. He was instrumental in the city's rise to power and prestige. Worked closely with your ancestor, Solomon Wayne, as well. Alas, he was murdered on the eve of his 40th birthday. The killer was never found. Interesting. I recognize you're preoccupied this evening, but should the opportunity present itself, solving Gotham's oldest crime would make for mm, quite the feather in your cap. <laughs> mm, yes, quite the feather in my cap, I would say. Oh, I just, you know, because I've been just diving and, and gliding around the city um, with detective mode on, I figured maybe that'll help me pick up on things that I normally wouldn't see otherwise. And I figured I would just take a look up here and explore a little bit. And so far, the random side exploring has completely paid off. Okay, that's just a sniper. Ooh, okay. So I wanna, what the hell is this? What the heck is this? Okay, so we got another one of those. Can I be? tagging those the whole time too okay ah uh, crapola i should have been tagging those too okay well now i know what the heck is this now this is clearly a an extra side mission but, but what please don't be an ar mission please don't be an ar mission no no okay maybe this is okay maybe we can do this oh my god the uh, trauma. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. And I hate it. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so bad at this already. Oh, no. 
Let's redo that. AR training failed. Oh, thank goodness. They spared me from that. Thank you so much. That is the kindest thing you've done so far. Is there anything over there? No, okay. I don't know why he started off gliding so low, but okay. Let's try this again. Oh, it's because I had the analog stick. I, I just instinctually, like, push the analog stick when I shouldn't. Um... We did good! Yee! <gasps> okay, maybe the first set is like in, in City. The first set's gonna be easy. It's gonna give me a really cool, like, new mechanism I can use. And then the other ones, the advanced training, we're just gonna skip that. I don't know though. We'll see. I wanna at least attempt them first before I say that. <gasps> Boom! It's on the attack! Let's go, boys! Freak! Get him! Who you call him, Freak? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Dude, love this. Ready? Stay down! Oh! I love it so much, though. I just love it so much. Their bodies go flying. Oh, can we have physics like this in every game, please? Okay, so... We checked that bridge over there. Wait, 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 wait. There is something glowing and it's green over here. And I want to check it out. Check it out, check it out. I gotta check it out. Can I, can I get around it though? What? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, a button, let's press it. What did that button do? the hell? Oh. <gasps> oh! We love this. We love solving puzzles. <gasps> yeah! I got my first data pack inside these little lock boxes. Success. Wanna know what I'm selling? If you don't, too bad. You can't shut me up any more than you can the billboards or the branding on your clothes. Sure, dude. Or the streets or the sound bites that clog the air. I'm in your face. Talk to Anarchist. Anarchist supporter like number two. But I'm the menace? Here I am trying to educate. You don't want to hear it. You just want to buy it. But only if everyone else does too. You're drawn to me. Go on, admit it. Like little moths to the light. Yeah. Lit on over. You want to know what I'm selling? And if you don't... Too bad. <laughs> you can't shut me off any more than you can the billboards, or the branding on your clothes, or the flyers that litter the streets, or the sound bites that clog the air. I'm in your face. I'm in your head. Just like them. But I'm the menace? Here I am trying to educate. But you don't want to hear it. You just want to buy it. Yeah. But only if everyone else does too. Okay. okay. You're drawn to me. Go on, admit it. Okay, so he's gonna loop that. I think I've already heard that. I wanna talk to this guy now. You wanna know what I'm selling? We gotta shut him down to shut him up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. You know, I agree with shutting him down, but like not this way, you know? I don't love overconsumption either, but there's definitely a better way, my friend. Ooh, another data pack. Let's get this real quick. Boom, got it. It's fun because these kind of remind me of the Zazz phone calls. But we're not really answering the phone. We're just letting some crazy guy talk to us. And then we got to go find his bombs and, you know, shut those off. So, you know, it's a little bit more high stakes than trying to answer a phone call. But then again, Zazz was also threatening to cut people's skin off, too. So there was, you know what, they're all crazy. Oh, and I also just discovered why I've been having an issue with the dive bombing. And then swooping back up, it's because I uninverted the controls. So I uninver uninverted, uninverted, I can speak, guys. Um, I, I uninverted uninver <laughs> the controls for the battering and for the flight and gliding. Yeah, so now I know. 
I think it's up Get here. I don't know. Is it up here? Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, I don't think this is the, where the bomb is. This is. Oh, this is not good. We have a minute and a half, guys. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, Stay down. Nice. We take him out fast. Stay down, dude. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Boom. Stay the frick down. Forget about me. Please. I would never forget about you. Uh, taking you down was so important to me. Okay, I just wanted to tag this. We stopped thinking and dreaming. I think it's down here. Yes. You are so right. Boom. Not he me. don't look friendly. He don't look friendly. Well, if you guys were not criminals, maybe I'd be friendlier. <laughs> Looks like he, uh... Oh, I wanted to do the takedown for that since I unlocked that ability, but I don't understand the timing with that, like, at all. Yep. You gotta, like, tap it. For liberty! For liberty! Well, how about, like, don't blow people up? We can all be happy. Hey, I'm not your enemy here. Oh god, we got freaking 20 seconds. We need to take these- okay. We need combos up. This is not good, this is really not good, this is really not good, this is really not good, guys. Really not good. Stay the heck down, guys. Okay, are they all dead? Ooh, I can't believe I got that in time. Holy smokes. I, I literally cannot believe that we just did that. I am so proud of myself. We have another one of those relay towers and I figured since I'm here, maybe I should try to solve it. Assuming it's not too bad. There's a data pack down there. Can I get it? Ooh. I, okay, it looks like something I can get. <gasps> yes, okay, easy peasy. Okay, it looks like there's something here. Huh. It looks like... I can't quite get these yet, and that's... That won't be good with the remote... Bat claw. Yeah, I think there's a gadget that I'm gonna have to get that freezes the water again. So that I can float, because there is no other way to get into this tower, I don't think. Okay. We'll just come back. There's another breakable wall here. Um, and this, we can have uh, a zip line point here. Right. Can we blow it up from here? What? Can I like hang down? And it, I, what? Uh, or no, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Um, maybe I can, like, dive bomb it, you know? Maybe? Seems weird, though. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Yeah, Ooh, wow, that's cool. Oh, okay, um, I found out how to do it. So I think you have to press A when you're on top of it in order to fly on the zip line. That was a really cool discovery. There's this one right here. I think I've tagged this. Yes. Oh, no, didn't, but now it is tagged. So I have to stand on this thing, and this is connected to a bunch of these pressure point buttons. And my thought process is, I bet you I have to hit them with a remote control battering, maneuver around each, you know, each obstacle and hit it. So I'm gonna try that. That's my best guess. Okay. Nope. Guess not. All right, I am totally stumped on what to do with this one then. Oh. Wait a second. The floor light popped up. Okay, but when I step off of it, these all the other ones. But 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think this is telling me what order I have to hit them in. Neat. I think I get it. Speed that up a little bit. So I have to go, what is that? Clockwise? All right. Okay, got another one. Oh god, oh god. This is so much nicer. <gasps> ah! Are you joking me? What? The angle's gotta be just right. Let's speed it up. There we go, we got it, baby. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Let's go, that feels good. Okay, I want to follow up on this thing. Hello, it's me. Holy crap! You seeing this? Break his face! I don't think so, buddy. I'm coming for you. I think this is the follow-up for the crime scene. The guy who fell off the roof. Don't I have to? Oh, I was gonna say I think I have to interrogate you. Boom. Interrogate. Interrogate? All right, all right! I was gonna say. Tell me what you know. What do you want? What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. Yeah. How'd that work out for you? E exactly. At what cost? Now you're going to jail. Case file closed. We did it. Ooh, what's down here? We might as well take that out while we're here. And I saw this. And I want to blow it up naturally, as one does. Oh, look, we got another wall. What's behind door number two? Another door! Please be something on the other side. Yeah! A data pack. Nice. Oh, hey, look at that. We got another one of those, um, walls. I think, though, that this is one where we just simply gotta fly right into it. Ready? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Let's go. Ah. Oh, poopy. Poopy, no! What? I think you made the right decision. Recognizing when you've been beaten is the first step on the road to self-improvement. Excuse me, you have not beaten me yet. You just completely destroyed what I was trying to do, though. Like, there goes my concentration. Hello? Is it something to do with those guys down there? Okay, maybe I don't need the detective mode on right now. Son of a- Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Well, at least I hope this is how it's done. I just can't seem to get the timing right with this one. Okay. Dive bomb, bring it up now. Oh my go oh my gosh. It, it, I am ever so slightly off. Here we go again. Come on. You take a wrong turn? Yep, here we go. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just gonna take the L on that one because apparently that's not one that I can just simply dive bomb into. Maybe it has something to do with that lift above it. Oh, I see. Okay. Something is messing up my detector thing. Do you see me, dude? Do you see me? Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna have to take you out then. Um, which one is... The problem. Oh, the disruptor is down in there, I think. I have no idea. We're gonna just kill him. Stay down, stay down, stay down, please. Thank you. Nice. 
Done. Let's go. Hello again. Hello. I'm afraid you'll find I've stepped things up considerably. Which means I think our time together is drawing to a close. It's been fun, Batman. But all good things must come to an end. Huh. Yeah, so the disruptor thing is still down there. I don't know what he means by that at all. Because the only the only thing I can think of is is like this needs to lower down somehow. Hmm. But we I can't do anything with that generator that's glowing. Oh oh we can open this though. Maybe this has something to do with it? Hopefully. Oh, ah. We've had our fun. <laughs> but this endeavor's grown tiresome. I don't know, I'm just getting started. Ooh. L I don't know what the heck that says. Oh my gosh, I can't even do this because it's being jammed. Oh, that's frustrating as heck. Dang it. Well, at least I have that open. But I don't know how to blow up the thing below us without lowering this. I can't zip line it. I can't, I can't just bust right into it. At least I don't think I can. I tried it several times. And it failed. I have not the slightest clue with this one right now. And turns out this one is the comms tower for this specific area, too. It's like we have another anarchy stop here as well. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the physics in this game do half the work for me. Stay down. Boom. There you go. I let you go. Straight to jail. Ha 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 ha. That's right. Oh, it looks like the billboard thing is on the other side. I think we need to pay attention to it or listen to it or something. Where is his Gotham is anarchist buddy? The police, its wardens, to protect and serve their there he is. And they do protect and serve themselves. We live in fear of their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. Money. They want power, the badge gives it to them. It's Unlimited power. Protection instead inspire fear. Gotham is a prison and the police its wardens. To protect and serve their motto goes. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to this guy. I think this will be the third and final bomb. Anarchy's right, you know. Cops don't care about us. We're better off without them. You already knew that, didn't you? All right, let's go get it. Okay, looks like we made it. Where are these dudes? Directly below us. Oh wow! Look at that. Everyone. Boom! What up? Alright. Ah! Oh goodness! Take down a couple more dudes! Oh! <laughs> nice. Done. Boom, boom, boom. All four of them, instant takedown. That is so satisfying. <laughs> I love that one, that is my favorite. I didn't get used to that move until way late in City and I regret it. Even after knowing all you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? <laughs> Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's <gasps> trial. Oh, snap. Dude, this is so funny. PC games are always extremely, extremely buggy for me for some reason. But man, when it leads to stuff like this, I don't even care. Give me more. It makes it memorable and it makes me laugh. This dude is really making me fly to complete opposite ends of the city. He owes me big time. Um, 
<gasps> oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's scan this really fast. So there's these, like, heat vents here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to definitely freeze it. Like, freeze them or something. Uh, block it somehow. And I don't think I can do that yet. It also makes me wonder, are we done looking for those anarchy symbols on the sides of buildings? Because I think maybe there was only a certain amount of them that I had to scan before starting this whole side mission here, which this side mission has been really, really, really fun so far. I can't wait to see what happens at the courthouse, but I just hope now that that means we don't have to keep looking for those symbols everywhere. Okay, that was maneuverability like a pro. Can I just say that? Where was this energy in city? Seriously, though. Oh my gosh, it makes me want to go back and play it now. Like, there's just something about being familiar that makes an experience so nice, though. How do I get that? I'm assuming I gotta just drop right, right on down inside, right? That's gotta be it. Totally. Totally. Boop. Mine. Nice. All right, looks like we're almost at the courthouse. I love that we revisit stuff that we saw in City. Hello. You gonna stand against the people? <laughs> oh, whoops. Ah! I slipped. You got me. Holy, where did you guys all come from here? Love it. Oh, I thought someone was gonna hit me. Oh, they just did. Oh, I was gonna take all you guys down. You messed it up for me. Boom, three down. No, get, yes. I love when you can just barely dodge it at the very end there. Makes it all worth it. Oh. <laughs> How about a good old fashioned knee to the face? All right, let's go inside. It's locked. Okay, um, Anarchy, you're making this very, very difficult for me. What? He did say the courthouse, right? We are at the right building. Maybe it's behind the courthouse? Yeah, it's definitely not up here. Is there a way to get inside from the back? Ooh. What we got, dudes? Let's do it. Drop attack. Hello! Thanks for the invite to the party, guys. Kinda hurts my feelings. Done. Boom! Stay down! Oh. Okay, you ruined it for me! Okay. Okay, so it looks like this is the door? Yes. Abandoned courthouse. Oh. Got anything cool in here to look at? Hey! Ah! I'm so glad you came! It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. You're just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Ooh. Such a shame. Keep at him! Yeah, come on, boys. This is hopeless! Three? Four? <laughs> oh. Could have been an easy takedown. Stay down. Do you stay- Oh, ooh. It's over. Nice. Not quite. Oh, crapola. The Anarchist 
Come here, come here, come here. What? Okay, that's not fair. We stand. Choking a little bit. Oh, you butt face. We got the number. My favorite. Wait, is there a guy outside the building? Leave them alone! Well, no, you kind of did this to yourself. You you sicked your guys on me. What do you expect? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, not these guys. No! Get out of here. I'm taking you out first. Ah! It should never have come. You guys are psyching me out, man. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Discourse and you respond with violence. We uh, you were about to blow a bunch of people up. Who's violent? <laughs> the hypocrisy. Stay down, Michelin man. You're Ooh. just a kid. So, what does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. I'm the be- I, I, you just, I just single-handedly took out all of you. You call me weak. The police are on their way. I do like your puffy jacket, though. It's an, it's a really nice puffy jacket. So bad here, I do, all the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. They're just a reflection of our apathy, our greed, oh. our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour, bury ourselves in our jobs, consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. Uptown and downtown. The suit in the penthouse is no better than the guy selling drugs in the corner. They're both doing whatever it takes to get ahead. Never mind the cost. Fidelity. Once upon a time, that's what defines society. People coming together in pursuit of common cause. To care for each other. I agree. To protect and provide. I we agree. shelter from the darkness and the things that roamed it. Community meant progress. But now, it's all backwards. Yeah. We worship at the altar of competition. We build fortresses around ourselves. We fight. We betray. We have become the things we feared. You keep cleaning up after everyone, Batman, and no one's going to learn to take care of themselves. The ones that don't hate you, they'll start to rely on you, depend on you. Then hate you. If something happens to you, if you get old or bored or die, then what? Or do you not consider the world that revolves around you? You're a hypocrite, running around dispensing justice, telling people what they can and can't do. You're ensuring Gotham's freedom, provided it conforms to your twisted view. Whatever pleases the bad, that it? You're not a hero. You're a despot. You don't enforce justice. You suppress it. There's a way to make this work. To show you that we share the same goals. Maybe I took things too far with the bombs and the threats. I, I can learn from that. I mean, you That's good, yeah. to me. Yeah, oh. Maybe, well... Maybe I can teach you something, too. Because I think you're so busy playing hero, you've forgotten what it's like for the rest of us. We're not all as strong as you. We don't have the fancy gadgets, the, the strength, the skill. But, but, but maybe that's the problem. You've gotten so used to the power, you think you're better than everyone. Above reproach. Is that it, then? Okay. You're not as good as you? You know what? I take it back. I don't want to work with you. To pick one. You don't have anything to offer. 
Pick one, dude. You're you're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. You're in and you're out. You're up and you're down, as Katy Perry once said. No, no, you took me down because you don't want the competition. That's what this is really about, isn't okay, it? Okay, dude. Let me ask you something. You ever wonder if you're the reason the city's so messed up? You know what? Yeah, I have pondered that. A lot of us have. That's a very big insecurity that I have as the Batman, okay? Are you done now? Are you done monologuing? You know, villains in their monologuing, they love to hear themselves talk. The egos. But he does have a lot of really great points. He said a lot of things that I, I actually agree with personally. He just, you know, you, you can't go about doing it violently. And, like, you know, you can't hurt other people because as much as, like, sometimes people suck, right? We're all we have. We, we are stuck on this planet with each other. And... We, we can't, if we can't have a conversation with each other to make things better, then, like, we have already lost. I was really hoping for a second that maybe we could change him and, like, maybe he was gonna, like, join us and become, like, a sidekick to the Batman there. But I thought his whole monologue was really, really fascinating to listen to. Because I do genuinely feel the same way about a lot of what he said. You know, a lot of people just nowadays, I feel like we're all so self-consumed and egotistical and it, we think that, like we're the main character in our, are in our own story and like we don't take care of each other enough and you know there's not enough kindness in this world i personally love the idea of going back to like small community things because sometimes things just get too big for all of us where you know for for the united states at least right like somebody living in california has very different circumstances from somebody living in ohio and one law cannot really govern the same way for all people because it all comes down to like circumstance where we should be really looking at it as an individual case-by-case -case basis at least for the united states we have the federal government saying one thing most of the time and then you have each little state government saying the complete opposite and that's actually an issue that i'm dealing with personally firsthand in my own personal life and it's been so frustrating and you know it makes me kind of look at the federal government government like why what's the, what's the point you know it's either have one big giant government that makes sense for everybody or go back to smaller governments that kind of works on a case by case location by location basis i don't know for me at least that makes the most sense but it's it's so confusing that's what i'm trying to get at life is so confusing anyway let's leave this creepy place yeah i i do want to get out of here so yeah this is completed but there's still a criminal locked here, and it looks like there's like four or five, six more criminals that we need to unlock. How am I gonna find this? I hope I'm not missing something. I'm trying as hard as I can to explore and definitely explore in detective mode to see if anything comes up, but I'm hoping, that's a lot of side missions though. I wasn't expecting that from this game. Ooh. We got another thing here. Kind of want to see what this is all about. Is this even activated? Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did that do? What did that do? I want to say that unlocks this. Okay, okay. This is easy. We can get this one easy. Go, Batman. Go, Batman. We got it. Boom. Got it. Let's go. All right. I was on my way over to the main quest. I want to go back and start doing that again so that I don't get too distracted and forget what the heck is even going on in the story. So where do we need to go for this? Looks like we're close. Are we actually close? Here's another AR mission. You know, the other one was successful, so I kind of want to try this one. Please don't be too bad. Oh, this one's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Got it. Boom. Four. Done and done. Success. I hope we get a cool gadget or something after this. Here we are. Ooh, nice. Stay down. Boom. <laughs> I said stay down. That's right. I told you. What can I say? Decode. 
Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Mm. Men on the balcony. That could be my way in. Okay. What a suitcase. I would murder Black Mask and his lady friend. We found the bastards. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said Penguin now. murdered him. I'd like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, so forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me, I'd take the loot over the glory any day. Okay. <laughs> nice. Satisfying. Ooh. There we go. You thought you could get away from me there. You could not. La Lacy Towers. Mm. It's nice and cozy in here. Alright, where the heck are we going exactly? Let's just go down this hallway. Um, okay, nothing here. What? Oh! Okay, here's a door. I don't think there were any other doors around here. I'm gonna go check real quick. Nope, there were no other doors. Hi, it's me, Batman. Um, I'm checking in. Stay in one night. The music got all creepy and sinister. <gasps> Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. Okay, then. Data storage device contains a I can reconstruct the crime scene with the evidence scanner. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, that is that is so unnerving. All right, let's look around. The first body. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The and male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Days ago? Oh, this place must smell wonderful. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Ooh. All right, what else do we got here? Yeah. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. Oh, whoops. may have been intended to destroy evidence. Didn't do the best job. Okay. Only 27%. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the <laughs> grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. Wow, to determine that, that's... Forensics is actually really freaking cool. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Yeah. Like... Like, bullet angles, blood splatter analysis and stuff, like, that will paint a whole picture. That's why I always find, like, true crime stuff and, like, really any any sort of mystery detective story. That is my favorite kind of story. I love guessing and being kept under suspense. And, like, I, I love kind of guessing as I go along, you know? That's always the funnest part for me. I think that's why I love Batman. Like, I love detective stuff. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin. They're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, 
Who did? Who did? Ha! The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? That is a great question. These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. Okay, this this game is like the first Batman game so far that really went hard into the detective stuff and I love this. I hope they do this in night. This is just really outstanding. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? How many people were in this room? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. Ooh. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so follow the red trail as you scrub through the crime scene reconstruction to find hidden evidence. Okay, so d should we just start from the very beginning? Let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. Oh, okay, there's the red line. There's the red, I sees it. I see the precious. Okay, there he goes. There he tackles him into the, into the table. Brings him to the ground. I don't see a red marker anymore. Wait, wait. Okay. Got whacked. Straddling him. Oh, now he's beating his uh, skull in. That's, mm, love that. Oh, here it, here it is. Right here. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. If you're going to murder someone, why would you wear anything white? Number one, you're gonna get blood everywhere and it's gonna stain your clothing. And then number two, if you wanna not stick out, like that is not the way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start back at the beginning again. See if I can catch on to any other Hey, hey, wah! What am I caught on here? There's something else. Okay, what the heck is this? This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so that take place, okay, 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 I see, <gasps> ah, here we go, okay, let's start at the beginning, oh, there it is, it lands on the floor, okay, so, she gets her head knocked in, <laughs> that hurts, right, a cell phone, she was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker, oh, Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Oh my like, wow, what a question. Here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Who is the Joker? That was not the question that I was ever expecting to hear during this game. I can't believe we are about to see the exact moment 
that Batman meets the Joker for the first time. I can't wait to see what he's like in this game. Oh my gosh, so on top of all of the assassins, Shiva, uh, oh gosh, Deathstroke, dead shot. Oh, and then there's like, so, oh, the electrocutioner. Then there was one other one. And then we're getting to see the penguin. Now we're getting to see the Joker. This is yet another game where we're gonna be able to see all kinds of Batman villains. This is really shaping up to be one of the better stories that I have seen out of all of the Batman games so far. I love, 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 absolutely love the emphasis on the detective stuff with, you know, the, cr the, the timeline of the crime and how it happened and like really using his forensic analysis and, you know, reading the bullet angles and the blood spatters. And it's just, it's so cool. I feel like I'm in my own detective story comic. I am 100% going to sit here. I'm probably going to grab a snack because my stomach is starting to rumble here. But after my snack, I am going to sit right back in this chair and I'm going to keep playing. I am obsessed with this game. It, it really ties together everything that I've learned in Asylum and City. And even though it's not made by Rocksteady, it feels like it is. Like, it feels like one of the Arkhamverse games. Once again, everyone's gonna have their own opinions on that, but at least for me, from my perspective, this feels like a game that belongs in this series. And I almost love having played it right after City because going right back into Arkham City, Gotham City, whatever, like there's so many landmarks and points of interest here that are so familiar to me. So it's kind of, it's kind of nostalgic, even though I just got done playing City right before this. Anyway, I'm done for now. I am very hungry. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button as well to get notified for the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.